Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's Double AC5. Learn to survive with Double AC5. Alright, well, I did uh, did what I said I was going to do last episode, and that was to uh, head over to Korbinka. Korbinka? Korbinik? Kor Kor whatever. We're here. Uh, but I did check the store before I left, and I got fortunate because I did manage to pick up a... Dun dun dun... Where is it? Uh, I know I put it in here. God damn it. Why is it not showing up? There it is. Advanced Optics Mark II. So I moved my uh, Advanced Zoom Mark III out of here and put it in the Storm Crow. Not that it matters because, it, I mean, it's not helping that much, but the Advanced Zoom Mark III is in here now, so we got a little bit of extra sight range with this thing up to 1080 meters, which is pretty good. So I moved that into there, and that's the only changes that were done on the mech. And I did manage to pick up, uh, if we go to the, not the store, the store here is garbage, by the way. We're not going to find anything at this place. Like, that's what, <laughs> that's what's in the store here. Um, but if I go to, uh, where we are, Mech Bay real quick. I did manage to pick up a quick cell double AC5. So, where are we here? Um, components. What am I doing? Weapons. There it is. Quick sale, AC5 double. So, I mean, it's got a recoil of 4, 15% misfire chance mitigated by gunnery, right? Um, fires two shots, either hit with both or miss with both. So, potential for 90 damage for 7 tons. Not too bad. It uses the regular AC ammo, which is kind of a bonus. So, I think you can use precision ammo and stuff with this, which is kind of nice. Although, the misfire chance is a little high, so... I'll probably hold off a bit until we have a, a you know some pilots with some better skill. Um, most likely, if we can get a clan mech or some clan cockpits that can add to gunnery, um, I'll put it in a mech that's got those in it to increase the gunnery skill to lower the misfire chance because the misfire, of course, damages the weapon. And I believe yeah, this has got two slots, so if it gets damaged twice, it's it's broken for good, right? So got to be very very careful with that. But I thought I would buy it because it is a quick sell item. And we're going to try and use more quick sell gear uh, if I can get it. So that's what I'm looking at doing. Uh, and then I managed, managed to pick up a ton of AC-20 ammo as well. So hopefully getting, I'm going to get this AC-20 up and running at some point. Uh, most likely on that hunchback. I was thinking about going with the uh, Silver Bullet Goss. Uh, we may switch back and forth between the two. That's 14 tons. This is what, 12? No, they're both 14. So we can switch back and forth between the two to find out which one works the best. Of course, the silver bullet will use less ammo, but, you know, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Now, uh, that being said, there is a perfect mission on this planet, but before we go there and look at that, I'm going to have a look at the barracks because some of the pilots got some half-decent skills now. So Jenkins up to Gunnery 7, but we managed to get Tactic 6 now, which gives us an extra bonus point for initiative. Um, Mongoose, we managed to get going? two uh, skills. We managed to get Leadfoot, and we managed to get Focus Fire which is a bonus for him. Uh, Nuke got attacked us up to six. Road Rash, I held on to the points that I have because we're so close to getting Gunnery 7. I waited rather than going Tactics uh, 6 to get the bonus initiative. I want to go for the extra Gunnery with uh, her. Uh, Scooter, I made an error on. I thought Scooter was one of our vehicle pilots, and he's not. So I got Leadfoot by mistake, so I'll have to, have to buy and trade that out. Uh, Vengeance, yeah, we had Tactics um, added. Venom, we got Leadfoot added again, which gives us bonus movement. That's really going to help out with the um, Cloudbuster. Waiting for order. And then Vision, we got... Um, what did I add to Vision? I think I added a point to Gunnery on Vision. I mean, we're not using him right now. He's backup pilot, so adding the points is increasing our cost per month, but I'm not really that worried about that. We're, we're still doing pretty good. we got enough for our financial report before the end of the month, unless this mission that we're taking today goes south. Now, um... Let's have a look at the hiring hall because there's two pilots I want to pick up today. I want to pick up Big Texas. Um, this is probably the best pilot they got. Well, that that's here right now. Tactics five, which is not that bad. This is the uh, um, remove one bar stability when reserving. But they're also a Comstar Alkalite and a technician, which gives us one and a half points to mech tech, which is nice. You know, bonus the pilot upkeep. But right now, this uh, pilot is just going to be sitting there in our bay. 
So we're going to hire her. New mech warriors available. And then we're going to hire, I believe it was Shellshock. Was it Shellshock? I'm listening. Waiting for orders. Or was it Ripley? Yeah, it's Ripley we're going to hire. Sorry, because it... Yeah, because he's got Tinker uh, and Brave, both vehicle and mech pilots, so that we can switch out between the two if we had to. Uh, but we're going to hire him as well. Uh, the reason why I want to get a couple pilots now available. is that I want to be um, getting them to generate experience using the uh, the uh, training modules. So hopefully they'll get a little better over time. All the pilots, I mean, pretty much all the pilots that we're going to find in the hiring hall aren't going to be very good. So the earlier we can get them to get more skills added to them, like, if they can get to be four across the board by the time we're ready to field the second Lance, I'll be happy. So, we'll just see what happens. All right, so we got five days to the financial report, but in the command center, we've got a pretty cool mission here I think we can take. There's a lot of them loaded out here, but I want to take this one here, Terrific Duck. Um, it's the planetary government's tracking a heavy mech with Marion Heraldry. And so, it's just basically going down, taking out the heavy mech and anything else that shows up. Most likely one Lance, one and a half skull. Could be two, but uh, you never know. And it gives us the opportunity, hopefully with 315, if there's a half decent mech, we can pick up something nice. And maybe it's, hopefully it's a quick sell, like, quick sell mech, who knows, right? So we're going to take a, a chance to go in after that. So we're going to do this, bring the Stormcrow down. Let's bring, where are you here? Vengeance. And then, what do we want to do? Switch out the Galleon or the, or the fire truck For the Cloudbuster. I think I'm going to pull the Galleon out of this one. I think. Actually, let's switch the galleon with the. F no, no, because you're. You're five eight galleon. What are you with the fire truck now? Three something? Three or four? Three. Ah, oh, but you have better gunnery though. I want to put you on the. Um... No, let's go this route. Let's go this route. Because I think I want to use, like if this mech is good, a good mech, I want to use the fire truck to overheat it. Let's try this. Alright, let's see how we do. Ah, this map again, really? Alright, we're trapped in a valley here. Uh, at least we know it's probably only going to be one lance of reinforcements. I mean, you could, like in tech, I mean, technically you could start on the hill and just shoot down on them. But, that being said, it doesn't make for a very fun episode. Let's just start in here. I think we started here before. All right. Let's see what we're up against here. Quick sell Wolverine, please. That would be nice. Okay, interesting. Standing by. Let's get you up here. Heads up, oh, oh, there we go. Got hostile contact oh, what do we got? Talos. Valkyrie. Quick sell three. Already, we got a Valkyrie already. Locust, locust, and what? And I don't know what. Wait. There's nothing. I'm looking at this thinking there's a mech there. The hell? I'm here. Yeah, it's Thursday night. Give me a break. Um, I want to wait for them to move. No, I think I want to generate some evasion first here. Let's not group up too much. Let's get to here. On the way. Double time. Does that group up too, too much? And then let's move... Shift? No, it doesn't take you down to the bottom all the way. That's fine. Talos OE. Thousand hit points. Is that, is that Omni Talos? 
Oh, this is a... Your ballistic is down. Three energy weapons. It's not good for you. Oh, here we go. Wasp. Man, these guys are sorely outclassed. Okay, let's just get over here. Not that worried that not that worried about grouping up right now because I think it's uh, they don't have a lot of indirect. Light people. Oh, you got a thumper cannon. Oh, I take it back. Let's get some chaff on you. Hey, I messed. Well, we got one through. At least it looked like one got through. Didn't give me anything though. That's interesting. That's the flank. Oof. Receiving you. Yeah. Cloudbuster, man. The, the enemy really likes Cloudbusters to shoot at. Full speed, no shoot. I want yeah. that Talos, though. Alright, so we shot... Should we... So how much armor does he got? He's got a fair bit of armor. Let's soften him up a bit. We're gonna fire everything, but I'm gonna switch these. Two to EMP. Oh, shit. Uh, two to incendiary. Oops. Oh my god. Really? There we go. Two to EMP, two to incendiary. This is why I want the AC5 pirate. With the extra heat. We can go with precision ammo and incendiary ammo. That would be really nice. I'm going to leave the thunderbolt off though. Because I don't want to do too much damage to this guy. Looks like an arm hit. Nice. Short range missiles gone. Okay, that's a good start. Waiting for orders. Um Let's get into here. I haven't used that mine dispenser yet. I might take that out and put like a rocket pack in there or something. Hmm. Thirty percent. Leave these off. Actually, let's put the mines over there. Why not? Might, might as well. Soften this guy up a little more. I'm out of SRM. Lost evasive. Standing by. Well, that, uh... That skill for the driver really helps out, eh? Roger, Skipper. Really helps out. Okay. 42, huh? 42 against that guy as well? Really? Oh, because it's partially obscured, probably. Uh, let's just go on this guy. Oh, you don't have anything. I don't want to do too much damage to this guy. Uh, let's just go. Got one on him. Not bad. Not bad. Sure. Thanks for showing up. I wonder how far that fire truck can go. Can probably get to about here. I don't think this guy's going to move in. He's going on 17, eh? This guy's going on 18? Alright. We're a little grouped up. I was hoping that guy wasn't going to uh, be going too early. I mean, I guess I should have done an offensive push with the uh, Cloud Buster, but it's fine. Thump thumping. Minimal damage on that hit. Oh, he's still in a position to, uh... Ooh, we can go a little further than I thought. Let's get right into there. He's still in a position to be knocked down this turn, which would be nice. Oof, that's nice. I'm gonna leave the machine guns off, though. I just wanna hit him with flamers. Engaging barbecue him a little bit. Ooh, all four of them hit. Yes! That EMP ammo is not going to help. 
Not going to help him at all. We're going to use that again with the Inferno again, back to back. The more heat Janet can get off this guy, the better. Valkyrie's coming in to fight, though. Oh, you got pulse lasers. Or X pulses, I guess. No, those are the... Oh, yeah, yeah, I want those. I wonder if those are... They were blue in color, so I wonder if they're the small... Rexes. It'd be nice to replace my small X pulse. Maybe he's got a medium Rex as well. <laughs> it says something when the uh, the Valkyrie's that close with uh, Rex pulses and couldn't hit, but the uh, pirate uh, Wasp is back there and is able to hit with medium lasers. Commander. Oh man. Uh, sorry, I just find that just absolutely hilarious. We could blast this guy, but we're too close. So let's continue to move in. Moving to position. This uh, locust is not that much of a threat. Looking for instability, so let's go this route. How much does this do, inst inst instability-wise? Fifteen. It's pretty good. What are you doing? Eleven. Nope, let's just go with these ones for now. Almost got the knockdown. Whoever shoots him next should be able to knock him over. Yeah? What can I do you for? Let's go here. Speed there in the chair. I want to get you away from everybody else because that guy's going to thumper you. I want it to be, uh, you to be elsewhere. So let's go this route. The AC should get the knockdown. Mag Pulse and Inferno, warm him up a bit. There's the knockdown. So he lost initiative. Didn't say he oh, he resisted the injury. We've already got a head hit on him though. Unless his head is actually lowered armor. What's up, boss? Um. Um is not a word. Right, I'm gonna go for a head hit again. What affected? Let's just try it. Let's just go with everything. Uh, I'm gonna go chaff. Copy that. He's stressing. I'm your spaniel. You're on cleanup duty, oh, unfortunately, man. buddy. You don't got the speed at this point. That's all right. We're well affected, but we're gonna hit this guy anyway. Cry havoc. Ooh, yes, baby, everything hit. I'm receiving you. Don't like that position. I like that position a lot better, though. Double time. Let's go. Get up over here. How much evasion do you think this guy has? None? Yeah, I think so too. Let's do that. That. And that. Didn't get a head hit here with the machine guns. That's interesting. It's going on 14 though. That's pretty damn fast for being knocked down. So we're going to have one person go before him. It's either going to be the Centurion. No, we're going to use the uh, fire truck before him. Because we'll get to go on 14. Let's see what the Quicksol Valkyrie does first. Oh, sorry, it's the... Uh, they all go before me. Don't kill that fire truck. Alright. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, hang on there. 
Hang in there. I need you to melt that guy down. Hopefully the Quicksell uh, Valkyrie runs away. What we're going to do is we're going to run up over here. Right into here and fire back this way. Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, you got the regular Rex pulses. Probably two mediums and a small, I think. Don't really care how I core you because we've already got enough parts to put one of these guys together. You got full armor too. The back is the best bet for a quick kill on that guy. Um, yes, command. Go here. Location confirmed. I was gonna go with the fire truck first, but we're gonna do this. Nope. This one. This one. Because that way everyone can go before him. That one. Turn that off. And go with... Because it does not doing any damage, right? We're hopefully we won't, won't destroy him, but we might get a head hit. And we'll just push him back. Did we get the head hit? No, we got minus initiative, though. Yes, Commander. All right. Let's get to here. Affirmative. Gonna go for the head hit, but we're gonna go with flames only. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Yes! Waiting for orders. Not the best result we could have gotten, but it's a good result. I mean, I guess technically it's the best result we could have gotten. SRM, firing. Roger that. Good damage. Waiting for orders. It's you know who. I need you to get in here and punch all the buttons, please. Mash all the buttons. Here comes death. Ooh, see ya. Neck destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's work on killing this guy back here. Confirmed. He's got no weapons, but I don't like mechs running around behind me, especially when this guy could charge me from behind or something. It's I haven't seen that in a while, though. They haven't charged me in quite a while. Oof, really? Really? That's a pretty solid line. 21, huh? Hmm. 29. 35. They're most likely going to shoot at you. I think I probably lost a lot of the uh, stuff off of that uh, quick sell Valkyrie, but we're going to go, we're going to try and take the Valkyrie as parts, so hopefully we get some of it when we rebuild the Valkyrie. Ooh, that was a groin shot if I've ever seen. Looks like I'm the new target. <laughs> that just looked painful. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, uh, sorry, that was just absolutely hilarious. Two large lasers, so the groin and he went down. Down for the count. <laughs> Ow. At least you're not charging me. Ready for orders. All right, let's get on this guy. Oh, good chances to hit. We'll take that. We'll take that. Yes, Commander. All right. Um. We gotta get range on this on guy. I think we're good here, though. Yeah, not the best chances to hit, but we're gonna fire at everything. Uh, yeah, we'll go with everything. I copy. 
Not gonna get much chance to use everything, all that stuff anyway. Unless we fire it now. Standing by. Uh, let's go after that guy. Position confirmed. You're on this side, so just just fight this guy. Uh, SRM, sure. Locking in all weapons. Not bad. Yes, Commander. Well, he's turned to his side, so we can't really get a groin shot on him, but... Why do those landmines explode? Because we didn't lay mines. Fire Ooh, brutal! Scarred a critical hit. Commander? Oh, I realize why now... Yeah. I know why the, uh... Guy's got such good movement. A cloud buster because the pilot's got piloting four, which also gives him plus twenty meters movement, plus one hex on top of that. Uh, let's switch to okay. Oh man, brutal! Once more under the breach, dear friend. Have a seat. Standing by. It's, this is pretty much ending them. Back shot. Going all in here. I know that guy's got rockets, but we're gonna go after him. Simply because we can. There you go. Let's hammer him. Making the jump. There goes the leg. Scored a critical hit. So it's nice to know that on the border here, we're going to encounter some Marion forces. I'm, I'm really hoping that they've got a half decent amount of quick cell mechs. Ready for orders. Not going to move, we're just going to shoot this guy. Do that. Locking on target. There you go. I don't really care about this guy anyway, but still. Hostile removed. Let's make sure we secure the kill. Kill secured. Firing all weapons. Got the arm. Torso. The Cobra strike. There you go. Mission successful. All right, well, 268,000, that's not too bad. So, a little bit of experience. Yeah, not too bad. Jenkins doing a little bit a little bit of work this time. Okay, what do we got here? Three Talos parts. Although we've got the Quick Cell Valkyrie parts. Oh, we got two Valkyrie of oh, Quick Cell 3 already. So, and we've got Quick Cell 1 parts. So we can already put one of these guys together, so we don't really need to grab that guy. Thumper cannon. Any Rex lasers? No. Yeah, so I don't really need to grab that guy. I mean, we can just grab the, oh, prototype double heat sinks, though. Ah! Well, you know this is on a Talos. Super cool, ah! Mmm... Hmm. So this is technically an Omni. I think we go that route. We've already got the Valkyrie 3. It already exists, so we don't need to go that route. Who knows, we might get it as parts. Bolt on, this guy got bolt on rockets and they're never used either. Bolt on tandems. Alright, let's see what we get here. Ah, wasp part, locust part, we didn't get any. Oh well. Bolt on rocket time two is not bad. We got the thumper cannon, which is excellent. The 200 core internal combustion engine can go. Fire control system standard, we will hang on to just in case we need it. Jump jets can go. 
The light jump jets, quick sell, we're going to hang on to those. Definitely keep that. I'll keep the basic sensor. We've got one. We can get rid of it. Never mind. And we got TSM. That's really nice, too. We'll hold on to that. All right. That's uh, actually a re re pretty respectable amount of damage. 1,200. 12, or, sorry, 12,000. I think we're going to have a look at putting together that Talos. I'm interested to see what it's got here. Let's have a quick look in storage. So where is that Talos? Right here. Let's get you ready. We're looking at... Uh, not really that great chance to recover stuff, but we're going to go for it anyway just to see. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Okay, so it's, a, it's an Omni. Shoot back here. Oh, looks like we may have some stuff here. Oh, look at these big friggin' guns on the shoulders. Let's see what we got. Not a lot. So the XL engine's gone. Oh, and it's not. It's part of the Omni. Beautiful. It's got spiked armor too, eh? So we lost almost everything. It's got bolt-on rocket packs. We may leave, well, I don't know. Hot seat cockpit. So this is really, why would they turn this? This is like a melee mech. So why would you turn this into the thumper? I don't understand why they would do that. So if we max out the armor, well, we can't really do this right now because we don't have the money, but if we max the armor... Pull you off for a second. I'm just going to pull all this stuff off. Contraband fire control system. Actually kind of nice. Pirate ECM. So what are we looking at for weight? we got tw about 20 tons. So it's got reinforced structure. Can we replace the... We can't. Oh, well, we can replace the spiked armor if we wanted to. That's actually giving us a fair bit. It's like giving us over five tons going with Pharaoh. Now the spiked is 30% weight, but it reduces... Does it reduce the incoming damage? It used to, I thought. It does for melee. It adds more armor. 1.25 mult. Yeah, so we're adding 25% to the armor. It's, it's tempting to keep, you know? But like I said, it's 5 tons. The weapons you can put in for 5 tons. Although you may want to keep it like that because you got the XL, so you want to protect that as much as possible. Like, what would you run? So it's an Omni, so it's anything on the arms and torsos. And got one in the CT as well. So, I mean, technically we could run anything on this thing. I would probably stay away from a full laser build. But I mean, a missile build on this thing would be really interesting. We've got a lot of rockets here. Yeah, we don't really have the, the gear at the moment. We've got the Quicksell 20 LRM. Although we do have the MML 20 Pirate. 15% jam chance. At least it's jammed and, and not misfire. That's 14 tons, though. You'd be basing the entire build around that. I don't know whether... I don't think it's worth it, especially when you got a 15% jam chance. Mm, it's tricky. It is tricky. Mortar rate's 10 tons. 
I think the mortars are really good if you've got the right ammo and you've got volume. It's the same thing with LRMs. If you've got volume and the right ammo, they're very deadly. But I mean, this could be the, uh, this build. At this point, though, you're definitely having to go with the uh, Pharaoh. Because you're going to need secondary weapons plus ammo, right? So we don't have a lot of AC-20 ammo at the moment. We've got the AP and one ton of regular. This is what, three shots? Yeah, so we, that's eight, eight shots. We'd be better with the silver bullet Goss, which I don't think does. So more bonus accuracy, bonus evasion, pips and Nord, but it's got a jam chance. I don't think the silver bullet Goss does though, does it? It's the pirate version. Recoil of one, 20% jam chance. Oh, it's misfire chance when firing cluster mode though. Jam modifiers to mitigate. So if you had a Scrap mode, 35%. So does this have a, a single shot mode? Less safe alternate firing modes. Yeah, so we'd have... Mm, I mean, at least we had the ammo for this, though. Do we have thumper ammo? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we'd have to decide what the build on this would be. I mean, you guys have kind of seen what I've got here. It's not really a lot. I mean, there's also... Temporarily, anyway. Heavy rotary... Do we have any actually heavy uh, rotary ammo? Or heavy rifle ammo? We do. This is only what, though? How many shots is that? Six. So we don't have enough shots. The heavy rotary, unfortunately. I mean, we could we could test it out with the double AC five build, but with a f with four recoil and and fifteen percent misfire chance, we definitely want to stock stack some recoil reduction, which I think this gives one, doesn't it? No, it's plus one recoil. Well, that's not that doesn't work. We need like the uh, fire control system jam, which gives like minus 25% chance to jam or something. That would definitely be worth it. But at this point, if we were to build this, it would be a standard build. There wouldn't be anything interesting about it. Like, I mean, we could try and build it around this, but I don't really have the LRM like ammo to do that with. We don't have enough variety to really make it work. When I mean, we have incendiary, we got Hydra. Artemis ammo we could use, I guess. And then for SRMs, we could use the Artemis. Inferno. I mean, it's not really a lot. Although... So that's the LRM-20. I'm actually thinking about the uh, MML-20. Because that technically becomes an SRM-20 at close range, right? Got 10 tons left over. We'd need... 2.5 tons of ammo, probably. 3 tons of ammo. I'd like a ton and a half of each LRM and SRM ammo. i got to start collecting half tons. That's the problem. So, I mean, we could go Hydra for long range. But that's only... How many shots are in that? It's 80, right? No, it's 120. Okay. I thought they reduced that to 80. I know there's a couple ammo types that are that are 80. This has a random damage to it, but more ammo. Hmm. And then for close in... We could go Inferno. All crew, all in 
and then maybe like a half ton of normal ammo. So that'd be three turns of firing there. So it's three, eight, and six. So 14 turns of firing. I mean, I wish I only had half a ton of, of Hydra because I wouldn't want to fire it six times. I mean, maybe, but that's like a desperate battle, right? And then we're down to eight tons. So we've got to round that out with something. Something that we can continuously fire because this is going to jam. Oh, wait, do we have a... Um, I mean, we could put a couple of large chem lasers. And then, I know, because I know we have large chem laser ammo, right? Pretty sure I saw it here. Uh, where did I see it? Here we go. Large chem double. It's a little much in ammo. Two large cams and an MML-20. And then we would need to, like, switch this out to be... What are we looking at here? Uh, where are you? So the advanced zoom, definitely, we, you'll definitely want that for this. We could gain a ton by adding the small cockpit. But this is plus one injuries resist, which is a bonus. Bonus armor to the head. Yeah, I mean, we've already got the ECM pirate on there already. We definitely need the double heatsink kit. Where are you here? And we need two double heat sinks as well if we were going to do that. Which, do we have room for them? Barely. Put one on each arm, I guess. I could put one in here, I guess. I don't like putting them in the arms. They're just, the arm's way more susceptible to being taken off, you know? Either that or we don't go with a double heat sink kit. And round out, oops, not that. Round out this with the uh, client exchanger. How does that work out here? 39, 49, it's not enough. Won't be enough. So we'd have to like go with the double heat sink kit for sure. I mean, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. It's, I mean, it's not a bad build. It just seems underwhelming for this type of mech, you know? Then weapons, we've got... Something, anything. We have a bolt-on rocket times three, don't we? We just took one off. Yeah, until we find something bigger to drop in there. Because we've got ten tons of uh, weight we can put something in, right? So that's enough for a shotgun or a thumper or something like that that we could drop in there, you know? This isn't really that act. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think. I mean, we... we doesn't have hands, so turning it into a melee mech is going to be difficult because you can't use any of the arm, like the hand mounts. Although it is kind of built to be a melee mech, it's not really built to be a melee mech because with no hands, you've got reduced melee chance. You can't put any hand weapons on. Like you could add the Omni stuff to the arms, but then as soon as you go to put like bat, like a, like you know bladed weapons on the arms, you can't because these technically aren't arms. Because if if it goes to replace this, it won't do it because it has to take this out. In which case you. This doesn't exist anymore, which means you can't put the thing in. At least that's been my experience, unless I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments for sure. But that's my experience. So all your, like, I mean, unless you, like, even a two-handed weapon you can't carry, unless you have both lower, like, omnipart lower arms or hands, it just can't be done. Like, we can't even use a shotgun because we don't have two hands. I think you're better off abandoning the melee part of this thing and just go with like direct fire support with all these hard points 
I don't know why you would want to go melee anyway. Like you could like you could boat a lot of weapons on this thing. You know? Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. I gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the Talos. But I think it's a good mech. I mean we got a ton of hard points. I mean this would be kind of cool to have the um, This would be kind of cool to have all those LRMs on. Just have them like all over this thing. What do we got for, for uh, patterns here? Hey, I got a mech selected. That's bizarre. I guess maybe because it's damaged. Well, that's not bad. Ah, let's just leave it there for now. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please go visit the Quicksell site. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>